know how much we all love reading in school, but sometimes when we do our reading comprehension, we can find some of the questions a little bit tricky. So today we're just going to go over how we can help ourselves when we are reading the questions, what we can do and what we can think about. So we know that our questions normally start with a question word. So let's just go over what those question words mean. So we may have a who question, okay? If we have a who question, we know we are looking in the text, maybe for a person, a character, or an animal. We also may have a when character, a when question word. If we have a when question, we know we are looking for maybe a day, a month, or a time of the day. We also have where questions, okay? Where questions, we know we are looking for a place to be our answer. We may have a what question. A what question is where we may need to find an object or an event from the text. We may have a why question. Now, our why questions can be a little bit tricky. It might be where we need to explain our own thoughts. We may start a why answer with the word because. And we may have a how question. This is where we will have to give a reason for our answer. Okay. So, thinking about all of these question words, let's have a little go at a reading comprehension text together. Okay. So I'm going to put my sheet to the side so I can keep looking back at it to help me. Okay. So this text is called The Queen's Elephant. So always when we have a reading comprehension, it's really important not to go straight to the questions, but to actually read the text first. So I'm going to get my finger and I'm going to read the text. People, oh, let's read the title first. The Queen's Elephant. People say that the Queen has a big elephant in her garden. The elephant sleeps in the shed and eats cream buns. She has never been seen outside of the garden, but lots of people think that it is true. I think that the Queen likes to ride her elephant at night. One day, the elephant broke a statue of the king and ate all of the cakes that the cook had made. That elephant must go, said the king. I think that this, that she is still there. Okay, so we've read the text. Okay, you might, after you've read a text, you might want to talk to somebody that you are with about actually what you have read to check you've understood. Let's go to the first question then. It says, where does the elephant sleep? So when we are in class, we use text marking, don't we? So we actually underline some of the words in our questions. Where? So we know it's a where question. So if I go back to my questions words from the starter, I know that I'm looking for a place. So where does the elephant sleep? Okay, so let me underline that word. And let's go back to the text. Let me find if I can see the word sleeps. Here it is. So let's read this sentence. The elephant sleeps in the shed. Where does the elephant sleep? In the shed. So all I need to write, I don't need to write a full sentence. I can just write in the shed. Question two. Why do you think that the king said that elephant must go? Okay, it's a why question. Now, a why question is where we need to explain, isn't it? So I might need to start my answer with because. Why do you think that the king said that elephant must go? 
So first of all, I'm going to find where that is in the text. Let me go. Oh, that elephant must go, said the king. So I'm going to read that section there again. One day, the elephant broke a statue of the king and ate all of the cakes that the cook had made. So why has the king said he must go, that the elephant must go? It could have been because she broke the statue or it could have been because she ate all of the cakes. I'm going to say because she ate all of the cakes. Okay, there we go. Right, the next question, number three. Find and copy one adjective used to describe the elephant. Now, these find and copy questions we have a lot in year two, don't we? Okay, find and copy one adjective used to describe the elephant. So, first of all, I need to remember what is an adjective. I know that an adjective is a word that is used to describe. Okay, so I'm going to go back to describe a noun. So, I'm going to go and see if I can find elephant. There we go. People say that the queen has a big elephant in her garden. So which word is the adjective? There it is, big. And all it says is find and copy one adjective. So the one adjective I can write is big. Okay. So what you can do now is in your work pack, you have a reading comprehension to do. So you will need to follow all the steps that I have just done. So you need to read the text first, then go on to your questions, underline your question word, what is it asking you to do, underline your keywords, and then find them in the text. Remember, underlining can really help you. Okay. Just show you. Just a reminder of what our question words are looking for. Okay. Have a go.